Hey guys. Hey guys. How are you? Happy New Year. Oh, and I want to tag Allie in our Soboka Unplugged Live that we're going to start doing on Tuesdays, right now? Every Tuesday. Tuesday. every Tuesday and we'll wait for a few people to jump on and what we're gonna be doing is something quick and uh, won't take a long time but we want to give you some updates on what's happening around town hey Rob hey guys and uh, so I'm Michelle Belisari I'm Allie Belisari did you forget your name <laughs> she wasn't ready for the she wasn't ready for the intros and we are hashtag Soboka and a millennial and a mom and another millennial, but that millennial travels frequently. So she's with us in spirit, right? Literally in spirit. <laughs> she's she's a flight a little nappy poo. She's a flight attendant and she's taking a little she's got nappy a red poo. Eye. She's a red eye tonight. But you're we and you're screaming. I know I'm screaming I'm screaming because I'm in my home office. So if you notice, we have a different background now. Much cuter. It's very Just sane. Very cute. And uh, this is my home office here in Boca. And I'm a real estate agent. And my daughters and I started hashtag so Boca uh, last year, I guess. And it's a blog and vlog about things that are going on around town. And uh, what else, Al? Restaurants. Lifestyle, you know. Nonprofit stuff. You name it. Nonprofit and mom profit. And mom profit? That was good. I like that. Hmm, may have to use that one. So we thought today would be a great day to jump on because we just went to a really great restaurant for lunch and uh, we were invited, correct? We sure were. Yeah, in hashtag downtown Boca. And so one of the uh, things that we do like is food and wine. I Not in that it. order, right? Wine and food. Depends on it the depends day. on the day. And so uh, we were very kindly invited to a blogger lunch at Roots. 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 Can you see that? Roots. Uh, in downtown Boca. And oh my gosh, the food was fantastic. And they are just launching a new lunch menu. So if you guys are in the area and you want a lovely lunch um, that is just delish, and it was delish. It was delish. Pretty amazing. It was pretty amazing. We got to taste a lot of fun stuff. What was your favorite? Mm -hmm. Probably the penne alla vodka. I know. It was really good. A personal good. fave of mine. Go-to. A go-to? The tomato is a go-to for you? Okay. Mine, I think, was uh, it was a tomato with mozzarella. What was on that? Because it was yummy. It was like a... Pesto. It was like pesto. Show me a pesto, baby, little. and I'll take it all day long. Show us a pesto. A pesto. Because I'm a nut. <laughs> but we um, had, it was all like um, shared servings. How many bloggers, bloggers, social media folks were there? I were like am not good 15 at or so. Um, fantastic people, a lot of who we know. We um, tagged a bunch of folks on our Instagram um, page. But, um, Roots is in downtown Boca, like right on Federal Highway in front of Royal Palm Plaza. And easy to get to, by the way. And so they had this great menu. And what else did they have? Oh, they had mashed potatoes that were like amazing, right? And, um, but I think uh, the piece de resistance was, they also, can you see that? 32 bubbles. So, we got ice cream for dessert. Hey, Jenna, how are you? Hey, guys. Uh, that was good, right? They were like gourmet ice cream sandwiches. Yeah, it had a waffle a on top. It was basically well, like didn't a have a cannoli? Version. No, they're all waffles. Oh, I love the waffle. The okay. waffle ice, ice cream sandwich. Oh, sorry. And they had like a cookies and cookie monster one. Right. They had a cannoli one. The cannoli one's what's the melting on the counter. The berry one. Yeah. Um, and it was pretty tasty. It was pretty tasty, I have to say. We're going to have like pictures up on um, Soboka and on our Facebook page, so you'll be able to see how delish the dishes were, and they were good. I don't even know if I took a picture of the waffle because I just ate it. She, in she inhaled it. It's fine. I know, and now 
my husband's not going to be happy because he's like the ice cream king in the house. He hides it. <laughs> you no, know he does. Hides the ice oh, cream. Oh, yeah, he hides it in the separate, freezer. Yeah. His separate freezer. But we, uh, we highly recommend Roots. And uh, if you're a business owner uh, in Boca or downtown Boca or, you know, on the weekends, uh, swing by because they have a really nice menu. And um, I think the other thing is Delivery Dudes and Uber Eats is also part of their repertoire. I think they said if you use it, I'll pick up orders already in 15 minutes and receive, and receive 10, 10 off. off. Hello. Hello. I, yeah, that's pretty tight. Yeah, and by the way, this looks exactly how their food looks. It was so good. And the ambiance was great. It was like all white type yeah. plants, you know, super trendy It's very right now. modern Clean Italian. And modern and like very modern. Planty and... And whiny and... Just it was nice. We had a good time, yeah. and we were in great company too. And uh, shout out to our hostess, Haley. Haley. Thank you, Haley from Hungry Boca Gal. Gals. And uh, it was delish. And so we had a great time. And what was kind of cool is we got to network a little bit as well. Boca Mag was there. Uh, Michelle Dempsey was there. Um, her right piece was there. I do all their like handles because that's what I remember. Wine, Wine and Jesus, Jesus was there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think who else did we miss? Um, mom. Oh, Lucy was there. Yeah. Um, so it was like a really great mix of uh, folks, and uh, so uh, basically we had family style and it was really good. And so we suggest you check it out. Um, in the meantime. I wrote a blog post, New Year's Eve day, New Year's Eve day, about picking a word. Because everybody's like all over like Facebook and everything going, what's your word for 2018? I'm like, what the hell's my word for the week, the day? Well, I know what my word of the day is frequently and I can't really say it on here. So, you know that. It's aggressive. <laughs> but, um, so I wrote a blog post about what your word of the day is. And if you're watching right now, Drop in what your word of the week is, or the month, or the year that you are going to be using um, in your life. And I'd love to hear. And if you want to give us some hearts and likes and stuff, we kind of like that too. So what's your word of the week? Oh, my word of the week? Well, my word of the year was like flight. Like taking flight. And because uh, I worked on a lot of stuff last year, and so now it's all coming together. Oh, God. And um, my word of the week, I would say, is um, <coughs> what's my word of the week? I don't know what my word of the week is. What's your word of the week? Um, probably plan. Yeah, I think mine's. One. Yeah. I'm planning a lot this week. Yeah, mine's for organized. The I I feel like I'm like two weeks behind on the like resolutions things. Like it's on my to do list to make my goals. Like write my goals and some well, do one, some manifesting for the year. Yeah, manifesting's good. I'm a big believer in manifesting, and if you'd like to manifest, I, I highly recommend it. Like throw it out there and boom. I had a things I happen. had made a hefty to do list yesterday, like pretty hefty. And then when I finished my to do list, yeah. When I finished writing my to do list, I just took a nap. And oh, there you go, because so, it's exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. It was on my to-do list to make a to-do to -do list. list. So. Yeah. I think task lists are I good. just made that list for, you know, the week instead yeah. of just that day. Yeah. It started off as just the day, and then I was like, to-do list of the week. There so. you go. Well, so at Hashtag Soboka, we, um, we like to bounce. Oh, I like persistence. That's a good one. Annette, my girl from, my real estate friend from Orlando. That's actually a great one. I feel that on it. Yeah, I think so too. And I think organize being organized, organization is a good one too coming into the new year. Making to-do lists. To-do lists. By but following planner. them. Buy a planner, follow your to-do lists. I threw the planner out this year, you guys. What I did is I made a bullet journal. And oh. and I highly recommend No, let me hear me out. <laughs> I've tried every planner cuz I like to write too and I use my Google Calendar. But my suggestion is Take a look on YouTube on how to do a bullet journal without all the fancy schmancy crap. Um, I'm telling you, it's like I have my own personal business Bible and breakdown what is, of what I need to do. So what is the bullet It's journal? like you make an index of everything that you want to do. 
and in then you that do a day? Page, no, no, an index based broken down on all the different things that you want to do, and then you take a page for each one of those items, and it's been phenomenal. I watched um, Amy Schmidtauer blog like a boss. And by the way, if you want to vlog, she's awesome to to learn tips from. Um, and that's when I first saw it. I was like, oh, this is cool. And I end up having notebooks anyways, where I get up being organized and putting things together. It's over there. Grab it. Your bullet journal. My bullet journal. It's just literally a this? notebook. Yeah. I got this. Yeah. Hold on. It's this way. There we go. My bullet journal. And it's just, yeah, well, it's just basically a notebook and you break it down. But on YouTube, you can find out how to do it. And I'm telling you, it is fantastic for staying organized and time blocking and figuring out like what you want to do each day, sure each month. Right? No, you got to flip it. Oh. You got to flip it doll. It's no, back here. Like that's anything. my, that's my bullet journal right say? there. That's my index right there. Oh. Yeah. So. <laughs> Take a look at that because if regular um, day planners and stuff do not work for you. You're straight up magic. There you go. Um, try the bullet journal because it ain't fancy. It doesn't have to be. Some of these people go nuts. I'm like, I don't have time for that crap. This is a kind um, of money. But I like that I can break it down based on like we have the Soboka blog. We have Instagram. I've got my real estate um, website. I've got real estate um, uh, ideas to um, so it's put for, in place. For for each month? Yeah, so I can do it by each month like this. See, I'm just flipping pages. And then in the very back part, I have pages broken down based on what I want to do with certain projects that I'm working on. So it keeps me on task. I'm carrying it with me, but then I also use my, you know, my Google Calendar because uh, I stay super organized with that. But it's all about time blocking and getting stuff done. And, and that's my goal for this year is all the fun stuff I learned last year with social media and blogging and tech and how do I implement it and I know other people struggle with all of that right right so that was my big thing I started working on that like this third week in December it took a while the bullet the bullet journal yeah. I just I got a planner and it but it's not the kind of planner where it's like each day it's just I feel like it's kind of like that yeah. almost yeah where it's like breaks it down it asks what your like objective is for the day for the and day. then it has like notes and then it says like to-do list yeah and then even on the side it has like a like a time yeah portion so you can like write out if you have things at certain times and then at yeah. the bottom it's like projects and so it's like yeah. kind of broken down like, it's not like a you know this is this day and what are you doing you know what I mean? yeah because ultimately we're both entrepreneurs and so if you're an entrepreneur and many of you on here are um, you know, you can see where the day can get away from you or uh, mm -hmm. squirrel, squirrel, bright and shiny. And so in order to <laughs> grow your business and if you're a real estate agent and you want to, you know, um, have some very specific goals or in your case, Allie B is a wedding photographer, portrait photographer. Um, same thing. It's like, you got to like pull it all together so that you're not losing that time because when people I, I know for me when people go I just don't have time I'm like no you have time you just have to prioritize where you're gonna use your time right and like I feel like it depends on the week too because if you have like if you think that you can get all these things done in a day yeah. then like write it as a to-do list mm -hmm. for the day yeah. and then you'll get it done but if it's like an excessive amount of things that you're like I'm gonna do all this today but like realistically yeah. you're not going to don't disappoint yourself just Make it a weekly to-do list. And I will tell you something that I do, and Allie, you can back me up on this. I have a long mirror in my bathroom, and I have, where's it been? I take a dry marker, and I literally make a list on that mirror. Right? Right. In different, like, My to-do lists, like, range from a lot of things. There's certain things I want in front of my face all day long. Like, we're in my office. I've got one whiteboard over here. I've got another one over here with all my listings and fires and things like that, and... You know, I like to have things in front of my face. And as much as I love technology, having my Google Calendar, it's not in front of my face, right? So anyway, so that's just some of what we've been doing, right? And um, we wanted to also mention there's a bunch of events coming up around town. And you can check our event list on the So Boca page on Facebook. Um, by the way, I'm going to a blogger event tonight. <laughs> News to me. <laughs> you can come. What is it? Jay Fetter Jewelers. So Shana invited us and the K's. So I'm happy about going to that because I like jewelry. That's always fun. Um, but there's a lot going on around town. And uh, Saturday, the call for backup party. 
um, which is to support our first responders and whatnot at Mark and Jennifer Bell's. So get your tickets for that. Um, Central Music Festival is coming up, which is ah. awesome. Oh, it's fun. Dad and I went last year. It's like a blues fest and great music. Um, so we've got a few things going on. And get your tickets for the Brain Bowl, the Alzheimer's luncheon in February. The Brain um, let me see where I've got that there. February 23rd, both West. I'm on that committee. So we'd love for you to join us at that. What else come up? Flavors with Junior League and the Addison coming up on February 1st. What's that? Ooh, Sounds like good. like chocolate and fun stuff. Um, there's a Veg Fest coming up too at Meisner. I want to go to Veg Fest. <laughs> so anyways, we like to share... Uh, go on the calendar on the, on Facebook. But we like to share events and uh, talk about what's going on around town. And um, if you have an event coming up and you have it on Facebook, uh, let us know so that we can tag it on our page. And uh, we'd love it if you would take a, a fly by the blog, so boca, that's three O's, dot com. And um, what else is going on? Anything else? Do you have any weddings coming up? Sure do. She runs around. Let me tell you, this girl goes back and forth to Fort Myers and whatnot. So, yep. What's the latest and greatest for weddings this year? The latest and greatest. Anything for bubbling up as far as like <clears throat> trends? Um. Yeah. Like? There's a lot going on. Um, I'd have to get back to you on that. Pick one. Um. Well, the colors of the Pantone colors of the year are always. Ooh. Very important. I think, I think the color of the year is like a like a deep turquoisey with like some. So like if I was getting copper. married, I'd probably do that. I think um, <laughs> I'm doing a style shoot soon, and we're using some of those. Yeah. Let's see. Color of the year. I'm pretty sure it's like either like, or it might be more of a purple. Ooh, I purple. Forget. That's my Alzheimer's color. So. <clears throat> Where is it? I don't know, but lastly, just wanted to... Uh, ultraviolet. Ooh, ultraviolet. There you go. Uh, we're going to be doing a photo shoot um, down by Hillsboro Inlet. Shh. I have two new listings coming on the market. Gorgeous views. Amazing, amazing. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we're just happy to be rolling and flying into 2018 with our hashtag SoBoca. Facebook lives and uh, we'll be doing some podcasting and uh, you know some interviews again too. We took a break at the end of the year like everybody did. So anyways, thanks for joining in. Got any last things to say, Miss B? Nope, she's just she's Instagram posing. All right guys. Talk to you soon.